Greetings, WordPressers. Jackson here. In today's show, it's all about Google Fonts and how you can use a plugin to get some excellent looking fonts into your WordPress theme. You know Google Fonts, uh, I think it's probably by quite a long way, one of the best free resources for web designers ever. Quite an extraordinary amount of free fonts to use on your website, and it couldn't be easier to get it into your WordPress site than using one of the many, many plugins that are on the WordPress repo. They're free, Google Fonts is free. It's win, win, win. I've been through, it must be all of them. I reckon maybe not all of them, but pretty much all of them. And there's one that sticks out for me that I use if I'm using uh, a theme that hasn't got Google Fonts in it. Uh, and that is WP Google Fonts. Now it does m most of the things that the, all the other plugins do whereby you install it and then you can change your heading tags, your you know, head H1, H2, etc. Uh, your paragraphs and sometimes your menu items. Uh, but this has got a, a slightly extended feature whereby you can take any class of text and apply a Google font to it. So the first part of the tutorial is the kind of standard stuff, adding Google fonts to your main text tags. But the second part goes into detail on how you can pretty much style, and well, not pretty much, you can actually style any text element on your website very, very easily. So let's crack on with the tutorial. Google fonts in WordPress with the WP Google fonts plugin. Okay, so I've got a page set up with some headings and some text. So we can use that as a demo for our plugin settings. We go to plugins in add new. We're going to go grab the name of that plugin, easy Google fonts, and stick that in the keyword search. And it should be on the first one on the list, which it is. We're gonna click install now and activate that fella. And let's get cracking with how it works. So once you've installed the plugin, if you go to appearance and customize, which is standard WordPress setting, we will see a brand new item on the customizer called typography. And it's really quick, quite simple. You click that and you'll see next screen, which is default typography. And on the next screen, you'll see the options you have for the standard typography classes, which is paragraphs and all the heading classes, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we go to heading one, for example, and we look at what the options we have here, we have uh, options for the script subset. Don't worry about that right now. And, but most importantly, the font family, and this is where the Google fonts come into play. And if we scroll down a little bit, we got the, first of all, we get the standard web fonts. That's the stuff that's on your computer. And then we have the Google stuff. So if we choose something like Alice, we will see that immediately our heading one changes to the Google font and so on and so forth. It's incredibly quick and just kind of rocks straight out of the box. There are some other options. You'll see that we have uh, the, the font weight. Now that only applies to a Google font that has options on font weight. So if we choose something that's a little bit more flexible, like Open Sans, we'll see on the font weight, we've got lots of different options. So we go up, right up to 800. We've got other things like text decoration. We can do underline, bit weird, overline, even weirder, but things, you know, potentially things like uh, text transformations, like uppercase could work, could be, could be useful so it's some really flexible options there and then we get onto the appearance tab which is think for things like font color instantly change it to red i mean this thing is straight out of the traps it is pretty amazing so all this functionality goes right through from your h1 to through to your uh, header six tag so if we changed our we've got our h3 there so let's just change that to something like oop, let's change it to What's one I've been using recently? Nixie, that's a great one. Now, I know for a fact that's only got one weight, but we can actually change the color to say a nice blue. 
so you can see how very quickly you can take your main font families uh, classes and turn them into bespoke options on your website now there are default options for the four or six sorry the six main headings and also the paragraph so if we change the paragraph to open sans as well we'll see that change and there you go so same vibe there but what happens when you want to change something on, that's not a standard class. So we've got our standard headings and we've got our paragraph, but what about this stuff? How do I change this logo font, the, the, the menu font? Well, this is where this plugin really comes into play. It's a little bit codey, and I'm trying to keep these tuts a little on the lighter side, but sometimes you've got to roll your sleeves up and you've got to get your hands a little dirty. So if we just save and publish that, we're going to go to the front end of our website and give that a refresh and see the results of our efforts. And there it is. So what we want to do now is change the this logo text, the whatever you want to call it. Um, and of course, there's no option for that back here on the uh, easy Google fonts typography. So how do we do it well it's a piece of cake what we have to do is first up find out what class that said title logo text is and that's pretty easy to do with any browser and you just gotta right click on an element and click inspect or inspect element or there'll be something on your browser that, that this says inspect and you click that and you'll get something that looks a lot like this. And it shows you what the item is within the HTML that you've clicked on. And plus what the CSS properties are for that item. And you can see them here. Now, the thing we're interested in is actually the thing above it. So it's actually this, the title, the site title. That's the class that decides what this looks like. So we're just going to make a note of that by simply clicking on the text there and copying that uh, control copy command copy. And then we go back to the back end and we're going to close down our customizer and go to the settings menu. And you'll see a new item for Google fonts. And if you click on that, you'll get a pretty, I mean, not confusing, but like it doesn't mean much. But let me tell you what it means. Now, what these controls are are for adding different classes that you can then control through the customizer let me just show you how this works so i'm going to enter a control name we're going to site title i'm going to click create font control once you create it you'll get an option to add a css selectors class now if you remember we just copied the class from our inspector element here. So it's dot site dash title. We copied that and we're going to put that, paste that into that, press the tab key, and that's in there now. And we're going to click force styles override and we're going to click save font control. And that's given us a new option when we go back to the appearance and customize. When we look at typography, now we've got two options. One is the default stuff, which is the paragraphs, the headings, the, the, the stuff that is kind of built in. But we've got this other option now, which is theme typography. And if we look on there now, we see that we have the thing that we just created, the site title class override. Stay with me. So if we click the edit font, we get the same options that we had on the default classes and can do exactly the same thing now this is incredible because it will give you the most amounts of flexibility for any theme that you're customizing or any theme that you're developing you can basically put custom fonts wherever you like in whatever context is required so if we choose now the font family for that and let's give that um the classic oswald boom it's immediate we can now control almost, well, almost every aspect of our typography on our pages. Let's just 
Let's just take that uh, font size up a little bit. Well, that's good. Uh, line height needs to come up a bit. And can we get that weight up? I think we can, actually. A bit fatter. Maybe some letter spacing. Let's go slightly wider. That's cool. So let's shall we let's do the same on this tagline uh, text. So let's go back to the front end. Let's give that a refresh and let's get for a second. Let's give that a refresh and we can see what's going on here and inspect our tagline item. We're going to inspect element and we've got the class of site description. You can see it here. So. We're going to copy site description. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Go back to the back end, go to our settings. And while we're already here, we're going to go manage font controls and create a new font control. And we're going to call this tagline. Create font control. And paste in our class that we just copied from our inspector. Press the tab key. Click the force styles override button and save the font control. You kind of you're getting the gist now. We're going to go to customize. And now when we go to typography on our theme typography, we're going to have tagline. So let's give that a nice font family of Noto Serif. And we're going to give that see it change immediately. We'll change that to italic and we're going to put the size up just a bit there you go save and publish check that out on the front end let's get rid of our inspector Put that down so you can see how very quickly you can add infinite i mean infinite styles of typography to your existing website and change the look and vibe of it without question. It's a sensational plugin. You can so quickly get your site from standard to bespoke in literally a few clicks. I use this plugin a lot when I'm not using a theme that has this sort of functionality built in. Uh, but as a quick go to for adding Google fonts to a, a site, it's a given. It's an absolute given. So a pretty, pretty special piece of kit for Google Fonts if you want to add regular styling to your headings or indeed style any particular bit of text. Remember that could be a bit of custom class that you might have just on one particular element on your website. So super flexible, love it, love it, love it. But what do you love? Have you got any particular plugins that you use for Google Fonts or anything that you'd like to share with the channel? Get your comments in below. And if you like what you've seen here on the Jackson channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing. But until next time, I'll see you later.